All right, well, all set? All right, thanks everyone for, uh, for coming. It's uh, my first time here in the Netherlands, first time in Amsterdam. It's, uh, it's great to talk to so many of you and see the real, the real traction and uh, excitement for the product. We're extremely excited to, uh, to be here. So who am I? Um, Roy Rubin, founder and CEO of uh, Varian, uh, the Magento company. I founded the company back in 2001, and uh, we started the business back then as a web consultancy, web design shop, um, much like what you guys do today. And we focused, um, well, we actually didn't, didn't much focus for a good number of years. We did much of everything, as, as uh, traditional um, web companies do. We did a lot of uh, enterprise content management systems. We did um, e-commerce. We did really anything that came, that came through our doors. And, you know, and that was a struggle as a company to not really focus on something extremely well. You, you tend to do much of everything, but yet you're not really doing everything 100% as, as well as it should be. And, um, and uh, you know, we focused a lot more. And in 2004, we really, really sort of focused on e-commerce, focused on open source e-commerce. And that's where we gained a lot of our expertise. I'm going to try not to walk through the projector, which kind of blocks everything. So uh, 2004 is when we started to really, really specialize in uh, open source e-commerce. Used um, our product of choice for the next couple of, uh, couple of years, which, which was OS Commerce. Upgrade. We, we, we don't recommend it. 
All right, looking back. So this really completes the story, as I told you. Uh, I started putting a team together in 2007 and um, um, released our first version. Uh, team grew larger and larger. Our first version, Magento 0.6, which was the first version that came to the market. Uh, um, the preview version, as we called it, was released on August 31st, 2007. And it, it just blew us away. The, the feedback that we received was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we, we didn't expect to see such a, just a, you know, interest for the product. It was a very early version of what we had, and we were extremely excited. That really gave us something to push forward and the validation that there is a genuine interest for a product like this in the market. You know, and our vision has always been very, very grand. I think perhaps that's part of our, of our issues, but uh, uh, we have very, very grand visions. We like to think and aim very, very highly. And, um, you know, we, we immediately uh, understood that there was a, an opportunity here to become a very large player in the open source market, but even more importantly, an opportunity to become an even larger player in the enterprise commerce market. I'll talk a little bit about the enterprise as well uh, in just a few slides. Uh, 2008 is when we saw our Magento 1.0 release. March 31st of um, 2008 is when 1.0 was released. Um, between, there's about a six, seven month period between our, our 0.6 and our 1.0. We really pushed forward very aggressively. Our team grew larger and larger. Um, I can tell you that before the 1.0 release, we had as many as 40 people involved in the project. Between developers, core developers, QA, <coughs> user experience design, um, and the Magento community. The Magento community site itself was thousands of hours of work on our end really putting together an experience that we felt would complement the product. Um, 2008, March 31st, Magento 1.0, we're 2009 today, and we're up to version 1.2.0.3. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm confused by it sometimes. So here's, I just wanted to show you, so here's a picture uh, uh, of us during the uh, 0.6 release days. So this is actually in 2007, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at the end of August. Up here in the left corner is, this is like 6 a.m. Uh, we're, we're just about to uh, release. You can see, you know, Moshe, one of our senior architects, compiled one of the latest uh, releases before, before we, uh, we ship the product. Um, I think Moshe, um, at that time, was in the office for about three full days. We just didn't go home. <laughs> um, so we're very devoted and very dedicated, and uh, you know I think this is really what, what sets us apart. Um, Yoav is there, and Yoav's going to be speaking next. He's kind of looking over Moshe's shoulder to make sure that he actually doesn't fall asleep. Don't show the whip now. What is it? <laughs> oh, the whip? Yeah. <laughs> I photoshopped it out. <laughs> All right. So today, Magento is the fastest growing e-commerce platform in the world. We're actually very proud of that. It really, again, speaks incredibly well to the momentum and the traction that we have. And we don't see the open source market as really the only, you know, the only space we're going to operate in. We see the open source market as, you know, as a lot of the validation of what we have. Um, but we are looking uh, upwards and we're going to be working our way um, to competing with some of the larger e-commerce platform, platforms over the next few, uh, next few years and the next few months as well. <coughs> You can see some statistics here. This is a growth in 2008. This is from Google Trends. And I recommend that you guys just, if you're interested in just seeing how this, how this works, go to Google Trends. Um, just Google it. Um, you can, and you can actually um, see this graph and compare Magento to other uh, terms and other websites as well. There's a little dip here in the, uh, in the end, obviously, before the holiday season. But nonetheless, uh, incredible growth for us uh, throughout 2008. Um, here's a comparison um, from Compete.com, and um, I, I put three three sites here. You can actually do more more sites uh, if you want to if you want to really get a good picture of this. And again, I, I urge you to go there and and see this on your own. Um, I put three three products here: Magento Commerce, which is the blue top line on the right end of the, the scale, uh, XT Commerce. Which how many of you know XT Commerce? So not many. So XT Commerce is an OS Commerce 4, which is actually a very big product in the German market. So um, I put that there. I thought you guys would know it. But, um, and OS Commerce, which, which all of you are familiar with, as the graph shows, 
uh, Magento's clearly taken the lead, and that's that's something that we're extremely proud of. We did this. All right, so 600,000 downloads, that's where we are today. Uh, a very impressive number for us. Very happy, obviously, to have uh, reached there. But we think the number is actually the conservative end of things. So uh, what we don't count, actually, as part of the 600,000 downloads are downloads from our relationship with uh, Parallels, uh, the makers of the Plesk control panel. Uh, Plesk is making available through their APS standard uh, Magento to over 1,000 hosting providers, which in turn make, make Magento uh, available via one-click installer to hundreds of thousands of uh, domains. So this is not counted here. We actually don't have insight into those analytics. We also certainly don't count any numbers that pertain to upgrades as well. So the numbers are conservative. They're impressive nonetheless. nonetheless I think they tell just a wonderful story, and uh, we're extremely excited to, uh, uh, to have reached it. 64,000 community members. So the Magenta community is a big part of what, what uh, uh, you know, what we're about. We're obviously here doing some outreach, and uh, uh, you know, the community is an important part of our strategy. 64,000 community members, again, in a relatively short period of time. This is, you know, certainly one of the fastest growing communities in the world today. Three hundred and seventy-five plus Magento Connect extensions, and I think we had an extension talk earlier this morning. If I understood the Dutch, which I don't, but I saw some slides. Um, so that's that's something that we're you know extremely proud of as well. Um, you know, our vision was always to create the the framework from a technology perspective, but even more so, the legal framework and the economic framework to incentivize those individuals that want to contribute extensions via, uh, um, via open, or, uh, open source extensions or via commercial methods. So if you extend Magento and you want to offer uh, Magento extensions as a commercial product, you can actually license the work <coughs> under any license of your choosing. There's been a lot of sort of talk about that in the community and we wanted to create the legal foundation. We spent a lot of time throughout 2007 working with some of the most prominent uh, figures in the open source community in creating the, the licensing framework that will allow third parties to extend Magento and do that in the license of their choosing. So there's no compatibility issues whatsoever with our <coughs> open software licensing, the OSL licensing that Magento is licensed under. Uh, we're, extre well, we're extremely uh, um, um, interested in, in, in obviously parties extending Magento. I think it's a big part of our strategy. We can't do everything. We don't ever intend to do everything, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that in, in just a few minutes. And we think that a lot of the value that Magento offers, at the end of the day, is going to come from third-party developers and extensions. So, uh, um, you know, we want to create the right incentives for those organizations that want to contribute via either open source licensing or commercial licensing, uh, um, you know, in the context of Magento. 375,000 plus Magento Connect extension downloads. Again, a very, very exciting number for us. I can, I can also share with you that Magento Connect is the number one destination on the MagentoCommerce.com website. So there's a lot of, you know, a lot of traffic there. People are checking out and, you know, looking what's, what's available for them to, to consume. Um, you know, but nonetheless, just an exciting number for us to see such a, such a, you know, large interest in what we have to offer. And these range, by the way, between language bags and payment gateways, and, you know, many, many uh, other extensions as well. 60 plus language translations. So, you know, one of the biggest surprising factors for us was the excitement for the product and, and really the momentum in, you know, geographies outside of the United States. We, we didn't really kind of expect that, you know, at least initially because, of, because the product was developed in the U.S. and, you know, we knew the, Euro the European market had a lot of regulations and, you know, the business was just done differently here in Europe than it is in the United States. But nonetheless, um, we really saw just a tremendous pickup and, you know, the European market for us is actually uh, um, one of the most important markets for us. And in fact, we're going to be spending a lot more time in Europe uh, making sure that, that we could, you know, communicate and really get to meet as many folks as possible. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, a very impressive number. Um, how complete is the Dutch translation? Is it pretty complete? 60%? No. 98%. 98%. 
Uh, depends on the version, that's the right answer. Okay, that's all. Excellent, so we'll, uh, we'll continue on. You can see here a map. Uh, this is just pulled from Google Analytics on magentocommerce.com and you can get a good understanding of where, you know, where the interest is. I don't know if you can find uh, the Netherlands here. <laughs> it's not here on the, on the dots. Uh, but you know, but I, I think this is very representative from what, what we've seen so far. And by far the biggest interest is coming out of Europe. I think there's just you know, a general interest in open source, you know, much more so than, um, uh, um, than in North America uh, and other places around the world. 85 plus payment gateways, so that's you know, obviously uh, a very, very large number. Um, you know, there's a big um, fragmented market in the payment gateway market, and that's why you see so many. You know, in fact, next year I think the number will probably be close to double from what, what, what we've seen. There's just the proliferation of gateways uh, in the market, but nonetheless I think this really correlates to just how widely distributed Magento is outside of the United States and, and how, how much uh, companies and um, individuals have done to extend Magento uh, to their locale. Forum posts, a very large number as well, so a lot of interest in the community, a lot of people posting forums. I think we've done um, an okay job in 2008 when, when it comes down to at least the leadership from us uh, in the community. I think a lot more can happen in 2009. Um, you know, this is an area that, that I'll be frank with you, and an area that, that, that we need your help. You know, we need you to get involved and to really, you know, um, help as much as possible. That's really the only way we're going to succeed. Um, but the community, as I mentioned, is a very big part of what, what we're about. Um, that's why we're here. Um, so you know, we'd love to see you guys more involved and, and really, really take a, uh, an interest and stake in what's going on. And thanks, Guido, by the way, for, for uh, getting involved. Okay, so... Uh, no, no, it's fine. Okay, just do uh, arrow down a little bit. Not page down, arrow down. Okay. There's another piece of information at the bottom of the slide that I want people to see. This one? Yeah, just do arrow down, or like... <laughs> ah, great. Ah. Okay, so... I had one of our one of our lead developers pull out this number. So 210,313 is the lines of code that we at Varian wrote uh, so far. It's I believe up to 1.2.0.2. Um, that's that's an impressive number. There's a there's a there's an open source tool that's called SLOC Count. You guys can, can just Google that, which which pulls a number of um, uh, different types of analysis from lines of code, and uh, I just just uh, selected one here randomly. Um, it would have taken one person 54 years to write it. So, who, who, who wants to give it a shot? <laughs> um, you know, but nonetheless, obviously, a, a, you know, a tremendous effort uh, um, on our behalf. Um, you know, extremely uh, um, you know, happy to have reached where we are today under a relatively short amount of time. 100 plus global partners. Um, so that's something that we, you know, that we really went to the market with, um, I think, at the get-go of the, of the, of the 1.0. Really trying to create the business framework to push Magento to uh, geographies and audiences that we vary as a company just didn't have the really you know the time and the resources to uh, to take on, and it's been extremely successful. We have a number of partners here. Partners, can you raise your hands? Great. Thank you. For, first of all, thank you so much for contributing to the project financially, which is which is a big help for us. But nonetheless, you know our partners are typically very um, very focused on the product, very committed to the product. And, and we're extremely happy to have such a big partner network that allows us to push Magento at an even faster pace to areas that we're not able to serve uh, given our location in Los Angeles.